the gorgeous Blair St. Clair. Now sissy that wow. All the way from the state of Indiana, and they let her out this time. It's Blair St. Clair. Hi, Sasha. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. You look so lovely oh, today. How are you, you feeling? So oh, my gosh. I am fabulous, wonderful, fantastic, all the above. I'm so happy to be here. Can you tell me a little bit about your look today and what inspired it? Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm so inspired by like retro fashion and mixing eras. So I wanted to put something together that was a little demure and cute and sweet and had a little bit of a secret to it. You nailed it. What's your secret? Oh, I can't tell you yet. Hopefully, it'll be the crown of RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> Ooh, let's hope so. We have some fabulous questions from the Facebook viewers. Oh, Are you ready? I am so ready. I was born to be ready. Sergio asks, which one of the challenges on the show from the past seasons is your favorite and why? So, I actually know exactly one of my favorite challenges from a past season. I'm a hairdresser by day, Ooh. and I do I style all of my own wigs, and so there was a hair challenge that they created costumes inspired, well, made of hair, and that to me is like the absolute epitome of fashion, is hair. Ooh, <laughs> could you do my hair sometime? You know what, I think I may be able to scrape it off and shake <laughs> a little bit here and there. <laughs> I'll wax it really well. Thank you. <laughs> Next, uh, Donna wants to know, how many wigs do you have? Oh my goodness, that, that's a really funny question. I actually was just purging my wig collection a bit. I know, it sounds, sounds terrible, yes. but um, I think I probably own around 250, possibly 300 Oh my wigs. God, where do you keep them all? I stash them all over, mm -hmm. and I've, I've, I may need to How make a How many do you have on you right now? Well, if I told you, I might have to kill you. Oh. <laughs> Didn't think it would, I would go this way, but I'm open to it. <laughs> Um, next question is from JC, who wants to know, what does drag mean to you? Drag is really special to me. Um, I think growing up, I've experienced a lot of issues that we do as gay men that have made me the performer and the drag queen that I am today. And um, those issues that I dealt with helped me to be able to get to a point where now I want to express some of those negative emotions and I want to make them positive. I want to turn a lot of negative things that I've experienced or negative things that the world has out there and mm -hmm. make them positive. So being a drag queen and be able to express myself on stage and now being an advocate like in society is so important to be able to just spread positivity, spread love, because yeah. inevitably love is the answer, truthfully. I love that. <laughs> Strength and beauty from all kinds of pain. Most definitely. So wonderful. Thank you. Um, one more question for you, which is, Danny asks, hey kitty girls, which winning queen do you relate to the most? So, um, first and foremost, I think you are fabulous and wonderful and beautiful and gorgeous. <laughs> but I think... I paid her. <laughs> <laughs> I'll expect my check after the show. <laughs> I also accept PayPal, Cash App, goes oh, on. Oh, great. Perfect. <laughs> we'll just throw your little socials up on the screen. <laughs> Perfect. That's the money. Um, but um, seriously, I think I may relate with Jinx Monsoon the most. She kind of described herself as a quirky, random, fun character that found theater and theatrics as her escape. And I found drag originally from theater. Yeah. It's my way to express myself, and it's also my way to um, get my emotions across to my audience members. And um, I think she's really inspiring and inspired um, future seasons to come. So I'm really happy to be here. Great. I can't wait to see what you do on season 10. I know the audience can't either. <laughs> well, thank, thank you, my love. Thank you so much.